Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Retro Lectors. And the other day I came across a weird article in the Dreamcast Junkyard where they showcased, you know, some of the weird and rare items that are in people's collections. And I came across a post about a incident that happened when you put in Midway's Greatest Arcade Hits, Volume 1. I found that somebody actually was able to put in their disc and a weird thing happened. They never got this game. They got Marvel vs. Capcom 2. A total opposite of what Midway is, a Capcom game getting pressed at the same time at the same plant that a Capcom title got pressed. It makes no real sense. And I don't know why that happened and I've actually looked and read on the article. Nobody really knows why that happened. The odd thing is, it's an occurrence that never really happens on a regular basis. The bonus side on my part is I have a sealed copy. Now with this sealed copy, what I want to do is I want to test it out, see if I actually have one of these rare instances of, of the Capcom Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on this. And we're going to see it together on camera. So right now, I'm going to open it up on camera. Real cellophane. You got to smell the game. It smells like 2001. <laughs> but as you can see, Midway's Greatest Hits. The manual is still the same, it's brand new, and we're just going to see if this is actually going to play Marvel vs. Capcom. Now I switched over to my actual cell phone, so here's Mark Midway's Greatest Arcade Hits, Volume 1. You can still see that it's pressed and it's got the barcode and serial number, all that stuff on there. It's not a burned copy or anything like that. We're going to pop it in and see what actually happens. Okay. Please wait. And see what happens. Oh, Midway, this is an actual copy. This is a legit copy. I'm going to put a link to the Dreamcast Junkyard and showcase what actually happened to the people that put in their Midway's greatest hits and see showcase what actually happened to their copies. But I guess I'm busted and this never actually happened. It was a good little try anyways, because not to say that it would have been any, any rarer or anything like that. It would have just been a misprint. But it's a good thing to know, at least going forward, and opening a sealed game is always good. So as you saw in the phone footage, I didn't get an actual copy of Marvel vs. Capcom pressed on the Midway's greatest arcade hits. It's, it is what it is. I did get an opportunity to open it and play it whenever I want. But I, it's kind of unfortunate because I want to be one of those people that had, you know, something, a little bit of history, something that was a little bit out of the norm in my collection. Like I said before, I'm going to post a link to the Dreamcast Junkyard and showcase what actually does happen when you put an affected disc into the Dreamcast and you do get Marvel vs. Capcom. I'm going to post a, a link to even the Facebook group where somebody actually just had that happen to them about a week ago. Well, anyways, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks, guys.